Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video cast on the why and how of Class Ojo. First, the why. This program allows teachers to acknowledge positive behaviors and it reinforces behaviors with points. They can also acknowledge areas of needs for each individual student as well. Immediate feedback is given to students and parents, and Class Dojo also allows for classroom to parent communication through shared class stories and messaging. So let's get started. First, you'll need to go to www.classdojo.com. Once there, click on the sign up button, teacher, and then fill in any needed information and click sign up. I've already signed up, so I'm going to go to the home page and click on login. Once you've signed up, you will then also go to login to enter into your classroom. Once you get to the home page, you'll need to scroll down just a little bit to see where your classes are. So as you can see, this is my class for this year, but I also have another class that they're asking us if I'd like to archive it. And this is a great way to be able to save a class without deleting it completely, but taking it off your page so you're not constantly looking at it. So you can click, yes, you'd like to archive it. And whenever you'd like to go back to it, you can just click up here where it says view archive class archived classes and you'll be able to pull them back up. You can also add another class or create a new class and you can have more than one class throughout the year. At the bottom, they have a great area down here for getting started. They have um, guide to your first week, easy ways to use Class Dojo, and adding to your class story. So if you forget something or need to, um, a little refresher, come back down to where it says getting started and give you some reminders. So we're gonna jump in right here to my class. Let's get started to see how this looks. So it first comes up with my class as individuals and you can see right here, this is called um, a bubble. And within this bubble, we have the amount of points that my whole class has collectively. And then it also has a bubble for each one of my students to let them know how many points they have received so far. The first thing I do in the morning when I open up Class Dojo is I go to attendance and I take attendance. It automatically marks everyone as present, but let's say you have a student that's absent. So you would click on them and it would mark them as absent and you would save attendance. Click right here to save attendance. Let's say later they come in, so they're tardy. So you just go back to attendance, click on them again, and it marks them as tardy. Or maybe you have somebody who left early, you would click to make it look like this or back to everybody being present save attendance. After attendance, let's say you've done an activity and some of your students have done a great job and you would like to let them know that they have done a great job, you would click on select multiple. And let's say Angeline, Emily, Joseph, Natalie, and Walker did an amazing job. You would click on all of them, go to give feedback. They did a great job being on task. That gives each of those students a point for being on task. If you wanted to just do one individual student, you would just click on that student. Maybe they did a great job following line laws. Or maybe you have a student whose behavior isn't exactly what you would like it to be and you would kind of like to give them a reminder of what they might need work on. You would click on that student, you would click on needs work, and then you would click on the skill that you would like them to do a better job on. You can also do random. So instead of picking, this is kind of like picking sticks you click on random, it pulls up a name, so it would be Jenna. Jenna would do her presentation or she would give her answer and you would give her a participation point or whatever point you would like to attach to your random. There is a timer, so it's a stopwatch that can count up. So you can maybe if you're keeping time for something, you want to see how quickly you can get something done, maybe transition from one activity to another. Or if you have a countdown, maybe you only have a certain amount of time to get something done. The good thing about this is you can change the time on here. It can be whatever you would like it to be. You would click start and your countdown would begin. The big idea section is an area where this is where you would help students manage their emotions. And they do this through activities, different activities, um, such as mindful breathing. They have some drawings that students can do and they also have videos where you can have discussions that go along with the videos. So this is a great way. It's kind of like a good way for a brain break or when your students are just being a little bit um, unruly maybe, and you might want to remind them or bring them back. You can go to Big Ideas and this has some activities that you can do. Down here where it says student mode, this is where you can click on and it allows your students to use this device to add to their class story. So you can have your students as individuals and you can also put them groups. So for example, I have 
my students sitting in groups. And so I've also put them into small groups. So let's say I have group five that did a great job in their activity and I would like to reward everybody in that group. And maybe I wanna give them a point for um, participating. And then it gives everybody in that group that point for participation. Let's go back to student look. Um, in the classroom view under settings, this is where you can edit your class. You can add students or delete them as needed throughout the year. You can also add parents. You can, um, this is where you would connect them. You get the invites to connect them or you could either um, invite them by email or um, by a text message to help them join your classroom. This is where you can make the skills uniquely to your classroom or to fit uniquely in your classroom. So these are the skills that I have added, but you might have, want to have different skills. So you can add another skill, or you can either take skills away. You can edit them and get rid of them. You can change the picture on them. You can change what you call them, and you can even change how many points you want to make each of those skills. And then you would just click Save, and it would be there for you. Also under Settings, another way, connecting parents, connecting students. If you'd like to reset the bubbles so and start everything back at zero at the end of every week or the end of every month, this is where you would go to do that. And this is display settings. So if you would like to have your students have their first and last name, you could do that. If you would like to display them instead of alphabetical by first name, maybe you want to do alphabetical by last name, that's where you would go to do that. Under a story, a story is what I consider like a class blog. So what you would do is under your story, you would go to what's happening in your classroom and you would just type something that's happened. Maybe um, you did a great activity, a great STEM project, and you would like to share that with your parents. You would type in what it was you did. Maybe you want to add a photo and you click post. Or maybe you're getting ready to go on a field trip. And so you just write in here, field trip to the zoo. You want to add the permission slip, you could add it here and post it so your parents are able to find it whenever they need it. Right here is messages. So if your students are message or parents are messaging you, you have their messages coming up right here. And maybe you want to message the parents as a whole. You would type in your message right here and click send and would go out to all of your parents and they would all get the same message at the same time. It's a great way to have that class parent relationship. All right, we're going to go back to classroom. Oh, if you added um, a point and you wanted to and he did it on accident, or if your students gave themselves a point and they didn't mean to, you could click right here for undo last and it would take that away. So that's a great way to use that, especially like I said, when you're allowing your students to do it, um, sometimes they accidentally click the wrong button. You can just quickly take it off. It's, it's not a big deal. Once you go to reports, it will show um, a report based on whichever timeline you've given. If you want it for the week, if you want it for just for the day or last month, or a custom date range, it shows the report in what they call donut form. So it shows all the positive and maybe one of any of the negatives that may have come up that week. You can also look at it in spreadsheet form and you can even print it out. You can also look at each student individually to see if maybe you might want to have a little one-on-one -on -one conference with somebody to remind them about their behavior and your expectations for them in class. Right down here, if this is another way, if you accidentally gave somebody a point and didn't mean to, or they did it themselves, you can click right here and remove that point. It's also a quick way to see what are the last um, few points that you've given, positive reinforcement or negative reinforcements that you have given your students is right there underneath. It also shows attendance for you. So if you wanna see attendance for the week to remind you who was there or who was not there, and you can also change this time for it to be um, a different week. So you can look at that as well. So this is where you would go to find quick little reports on your students' behavior. So let's take you back to the home page, And just to let you know that if there is anything that I did not touch on or you wanted to have a little bit more in-depth information about, if you go up here to the question mark and click on it and type in whatever other needs you might have, they have a great resource here to help you with anything that maybe I did not have a chance to go over.